Welcome Banya Titan. G'day mates, today we're going to have a look at the May issue of the Bluey magazine. This magazine is all about toys. Wow, that's amazing. On the front we have Bingo riding a unicorn ride while holding Bob Bilby. Cool. We can make Mr. Monkey Jocks and other Ripper Sock Puppets just like Bob Bilby, Chattermax and Polly Puppy. There's plenty of stickers, things to colour and draw and lots of games to play. Come on, let's check it out. Inside we have our stickers. Make sure you use the right stickers for the right pages. The first page. Toys, toys, toys. Wackadoo. Bluey and Bingo are getting all the toys out today. Stick them on with your stickies. This is a sticker page. Before we make a mess for Chili and Bandit, first we gotta write our name. What's your favourite toy called? That's easy. If it was my all-time favourite childhood toy, I'd probably say a Transformer. But if it was a Bluey toy? Oh, my favourite would be a Sticky Gecko. It can stick onto walls and windows. That is one rad toy for real life. Let's use our stickers for pages 2 to 3. Do you know the names of these Bluey toys? Can you guess what episodes they're from? First toy, we have a koala. Next, we have an orange sticky gecko. Let's stick that on the wall. We have Bingo's toy dolphin from the episode The Claw. Ooh, that looks like a pen dragon. Let's stick that on. We have a little toadstool. That's cute. Oh, that looks like a hippo that Rusty was throwing up. We have Bingo with Floppy Bunny. Looks like this is a job for Daddy Robot. Cheese and crackers. Tidying up catastrophe. Next page. Oh, Bob Bilby. What's Bob getting up to over the weekend? Looks like we got a story. It's Friday and it's Bingo's turn to bring Bob Bilby home from kindy. Here's a Bilby and his name's Bob, she tells Dad. Nice to meet you, Dad says to Bob. Let's get you back home and show you around. Look at Bingo, she's saying to Dad. He's not actually real, he's a puppet. Back at home, the family are looking through Bob's photo book. He stays with us for the weekend and we take photos of all the fun stuff we get up to and we stick them in the Bob Bilby book, Bingo explains. Look at Dad looking at the Bob Bilby book. Wow, you've been around. It looks like Bob has had lots of fun with other families. I hope we can show you a good time too, says Dad. Bingo and Bluey start to take photos. Bob, this is the tablet, Bluey says. You can take photos and watch cartoons and play games on it. Look! The girls start showing Bob one of their favourite tablet games. Mum takes a photo for the book. Click! That afternoon, the family drives to the supermarket. Do you want to teach Bob some car games? Mum asks. But they watch cartoons instead. Mum takes another photo. Click! At the supermarket, the girls show Bob a cartoon on the big telly. Dad takes a photo on his phone. Click! What do you think? Do you think they're showing Bob Bilby a good time? Later, they put the photos in Bob's book. But these are all of Bob watching cartoons, Bluey says. Bingo is upset. This is the most boring time Bob's had in the whole book. He's never gonna want to visit again, she sniffs. Let's do exciting stuff, Bluey cheers and puts all the phones and tablets away. But how will we take photos, Bingo wonders. Leave that to me, Dad says, and he gets out his old camera. Check out Dad's camera. He's got a Polaroid. He can create some instant photos. Bob and the healers end up having the best afternoon. They go bike riding, and up and down on the Boingy Unicorn, and make funny faces, and watch fireworks in the evening. Then they put all the special photos in Bob's book. Oh, what do you reckon? Do you think they showed Bob a good time? Looks like the healer family are happy. 
On Monday, Bingo proudly shows the Bob Bilby book to her class and tells them about their weekend. It looks like Bob had a wonderful time with you, Mrs. Retriever says. Thanks for coming to visit me. I hope you'd like to visit me again, Bingo says, as she gives Bob a great big hug. The end. Did you like that story? That's just like the episode of how we first met Bob Bilby. Next page. Photo Bob. Look who has come to stay. It's Bob Bilby. Use your stickies to add the little puppet to the photos. This is a sticker page. Let's use the stickies for pages 8 and 9. Let's stick Bob here. Oh, looks like Bingo and Bob are being silly. They're on top of Dad's head. Let's add Bob to this photo, where you have Bingo and Bob watching a tablet. How about this photo? You have Bob watching cartoons with Bluey and Bingo. Hey Squirt, what would you do with Bob Bilby if he came to stay? Draw your own pickies or stick in some photos with your Bob Bilby when you've finished making him. Hmm, what can we do to show Bob Bilby a good time if he came to stay? I know, why don't we play Keepy Uppy? That's a fun game. Oh, what about if you took Bob on a holiday? Like a tropical island. Oh, that'd be nice. Speaking of holidays, what if Bingo and the Healer family took Bob Bilby to Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. You get to see the Eiffel Tower. And then... You get to eat some croissants and some baguettes. That's a perfect picky for Bob's book. Keepy uppy! We have a game! Snip out the balloon, place it at the start and blow it around the garden. But don't let it touch the spiky plant or it'll pop and you'll have to start again. Add more spiky plant stickers to make it even trickier. We have to cut out this picture of a balloon and use that as our balloon in our game. We have to put our balloon here. This is the start. So once you put your balloon here, you get blowing. Score points each time the balloon lands on someone. How many points can you get in one minute? If I blow the paper balloon and it lands on bingo, I get 25 points. Let's see how many points I can get in one minute. What's that, Lucky's dad? You have a top tip? Use a straw to blow the balloon around. Thanks, Lucky's dad. Let's make the game a bit trickier and add some spiky plants. We have our game balloon. Fold up this bit. It'll make it easier to blow the balloon around. Okay, we'll put our balloon at the start. We've got our straw. Thanks for the top tip, mate. Okay, let's give it a go. <laughs> oh, it landed on Lucky's dad. We got 10 points. Thanks, mate! Okay, we'll put our balloon at the start. We'll see if we can add to the points. Oh, what did it land on? Bingo! Yes! We got 25 points! So that gives us a total of 35 points so far. We'll put the balloon at the start again. Let's see if we can get some big points. Let's try and get Dad. Oh no, looks like it landed on a spiky plant. That looks like a bust. Let's start again. Oh, another pop. We'll give it one more go. Yes, it looks like it just landed on Dad. That gives us 50 points. That gives us a total of 85 points. Let's see if you can top that. Next page. Guess what? Come on, grubs. Check out the clues below. Can you work out each mystery toy? Do you think it's one of these toys in the pile? Let's look at the first toy. This toy is multicolored. It's round and you can bounce it. Let's look at our stickers. I think this toy is a ball. It's a ball. The toy is multicolored. It's round and you can bounce it. Let's check out the clue for the next toy. This toy is stripy. It's thin and long, and you can cast magic spells with it. We have some star shapes here. I wonder what this toy could be. Let's look at our stickers. I think this toy is a magic wand. See? 
It's thin and long, it's stripy, and at the end of it, it has a star. It's a magic wand. Our next toy is mostly white. It has a butterfly lid. You have tea parties with it. Draw a yummy cake here. Let's look at our stickers. Oh, I think it's a teapot. The teapot is mostly white. It has a butterfly lid. And you can't have a tea party without a teapot. Let's look at our next toy. The first clue, it says it's mostly green. The second clue, it has cool lightning pickies on it. And you play epic tunes with it. I wonder what it could be. Well, we only have one sticker left for this page. It must be a guitar. A mystery toy is mostly green. And it does have cool lightning pickies on it. And you can play epic tunes with it. Thank you for watching part one of the May issue of this Bluey Magazine video. Please stay tuned for part two. Please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. For mom, please, Josh. Click the subscribe.